This video will go over data validation using the tools built into FUDSCHEM, specifically the data review checklist. For information on how to edit qualifiers, please refer to our Validation Tutorial Data Sample Qualification video. This video is linked in the description. Go to Tools, Data, Review Checklist. Here, the validator can add their observations about the data, and those comments will automatically be pulled into a report that can be used as their final data validation report. We will discuss the report at the end of this video. We'll start by selecting the project, Event, Review Status, and SDG on the left. Next, we'll enter information into the SDG Details section. Data Review Contractor will be USACE NAE. Project Manager will be Jane Doe. Reviewer will be Valerie Mariana. Reviewer title automatically populates based on the title indicated in your provided contact information when your FUDSCHEM account was set up. Second reviewer will be left blank. We have a second reviewer option here for projects that use a first reviewer and a second reviewer. Your project may not require a second reviewer, and if that's the case, it's okay to leave this blank. Data Review QC level will be Stage 2B. It is OK that it will want to rewrite questions. Note that even though the set is a level 2A, we can generate checklist questions for higher levels of review. The parts of the review that cannot be handled by the ADR, due to the set file being only a level 2A, will need to be handled manually. Note that the test method dropdown will not allow us to select anything until we have chosen and saved a data review QC level. Choosing a QC level is what allows the system to know what questions to populate. The review date will be today's date. The lab receipt date will be the day the lab received the samples. In this case, it's January 17, 2017. We will leave completion and library dates blank for now, since we are not finished with validation and have not uploaded the validation report to the library. Note, if you have two reviewers, there are separate review completion date fields for each reviewer. Each part of the interface has its own save button, so we'll want to make sure we click Save SDG Details to save the information we just entered. Select the test method SW6020A. We can now select a method because we saved a data review QC level. Using the data available in the system and the lab report, we would be able to fill out comments for the test method and the review questions for the method. For example, under Additional Comments for Test Method, please note Field Duplicate Not Analyzed for this method, and then click Save Comments. Under the Review Questions, start answering appropriately according to your data. For our example, we will mark the first couple as Yes. You could also add comments here if needed. Note that the red triangles mark information that has been changed but not yet saved. They will go away after we save. For number 20, answer no, and in the comments, add not enough volume received for MS slash MSD. Numbers 21 and 22 will be NA. Save changes in the upper left. If we had more methods, we would go through and do this for each one. But for now, we'll just change the review completion date for both reviewers to today's date and click Save. 
Everything the validator enters into this interface is automatically pulled into the ADR report. Under Reports, ADR and Submission Reports, ADR Report. All of these reports can be taken out to PDF or Excel by clicking on the floppy disk icon. In some cases, your contract may specify that you use this report as your final data validation report. In other cases, your contract may allow you to create your own report if you prefer. In this case, we will be using the FUDSCAM ADR report as our final data validation report. Choose the project and SDG. Click View Report. Page 1 reflects the SDG information we filled out at the top of the checklist interface, with some additional information specific to this SDG. If we go to page 2, you'll see that most of this page is boilerplate text, but it's customized to reflect our SDG and our other specific information. Towards the bottom, you can see that it includes the number of qualified samples. This will automatically update if we add new qualifiers or remove qualifiers. For information on how to add, remove, or change qualifiers, please refer to our Validation Tutorial Data Sample Qualification video, linked in the description. If we go to the Narrative Comments section, there's a place for a signature. We can encrypt a signature if you would prefer to digitally add your signature to the report rather than printing it out, signing it, and scanning it again. To encrypt a signature, reach out to your Synaptics point of contact for more information. There's also an option to add a second signature if a second review takes place. The questions from our checklist are at the end of the report. Once validation is complete, the validator can download this report and use it as their final data validation report. The data validation report should be uploaded to the FUDSCAM library. Be sure to watch our library submission tutorial for more information on how to load data validation reports to FUDSCAM. This video is linked in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to the FUDSCAM YouTube channel for more tutorial videos. All of the tutorials and playlists mentioned during this video are linked in the description below. Lastly, if you have questions or comments, feel free to contact us at fuds.support at Thank you.